Hello and of course welcome to this, the first in which I hope will be a long running series called For a Day, in which I see if I can do a job or a task for at least one day. Today, the very first episode will be to see if I can be a gospel singer. And I am here with professional gospel singer Fred Merrill. Um, so what does it mean to be a professional gospel singer? It means that you share the gospel in song. You live for the chance to get out there and do what it is you love. You don't do this simply because you want to. But money would be nice. Well, you know, it, it's necessary to live. I mean, you wouldn't say no to money. Uh, um, that would all depend. Really? That would all depend. Approximately how many shows or concerts do you think you could, you've done, est estimating? In 40 years? Mm -hmm. Just, you know, approximately. I, really, I wouldn't even, I would not dare. Over 200? I wouldn't dare. Um, oh, at least. Wow. At least. And do you think that this is something anyone can do? No. Why don't we find out if he's wrong, okay? Because <laughs> I think I can do it. Because I think I can do anything. I got this. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and get started with some... With some so I thought we would start by testing your musical knowledge. Okay. Seems, seems like a logical place to start. Okay. Would you be able to tell me, in music, okay. what is an interval? Ah, an interval, that is when, um, when you're playing an instrument, right? And you, you, uh, hit a, you make, you make a music, right? You make a music. You make a music, and then you make another music. Interval is the time in between each music. The time in between? Well, if you go like... That's not quite how Close Encounters of the Third Kind goes. Well, that wasn't a bad answer, but it nailed it wasn't quite right. No. The correct end was the number between the notes. Ah. Okay. One might call that time. Moving on. What are the, since we're talking about intervals, what are the number names of the intervals? Uh, you got, uh, this is, this is, this is pretty much, um, first grade math. Right. One, two, three, and four. Well, that wasn't, Leave off the one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. There you go. Oh, I knew that perfectly. Intervals have names. Right. We just established that. They are two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But they have more specific names. You got. Could you tell me what they are? You got Angus, Bert, uh, uh, Jimmy, Jeffrey, uh, Sally, Lucy, uh, Roger, and yeah, that's it. Not quite. Hmm. The names are Major, nah. Roger, Major Roger. That would be Major Tom. Okay. The names of the intervals yeah. are major, uh -huh. minor, yes. augmented, oh. and diminished. That was only four. Um, I thought there were eight. Or no. seven. No. There's some going on. I think I have my answer. A plus, ten out of ten. The, 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 the. I nailed it. Okay, so we, we have established your knowledge. Right. And it is part of lack of it. No. Of, it's, it's perfect. Of I know. Of music theory. Right. Um every like, you know, singer, musician or whatever. They got like they need a, a, an outfit, yeah. So yeah, that, that 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 does that does help. It does help to be dressed on stage. So yes. So I think yes. I think 
before we can move on, I need to get into my gospel singer outfit. So that way I can really okay. feel it. Okay. Okay. So I'll be right back. I feel like my outfit is helping me channel the power of the Lord. And it'll all come uh, right into my body uh, cords. Think, and I think probably your outfit is perfect. And it's genius. No, no, no. It's I, been I, specially I'm, designed. I, I'm thinking your 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 outfit is helping you to channel more like more your booty affair. Hmm. Well, I think and I'm, I'm the Lord. I'm, I think I'm ready to sing about the Holy Spirit. Um, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> that's, that's... You might want to fix your collar. Mm -hmm. And that's character. And that's something. That's character. Everybody needs character. That's Gospel 101. You need character. This is coming from the expert. I aced music theory. I could do that if I really wanted to. I, I don't really want to. Right. So, okay. Um, remember, if you're going to play piano, you do want to do it correctly. And you want to make sure um, that uh, everything... Uh, oh, it's broken. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It's, uh, something wrong. We're gonna have to try something different. Right. Apparently, C major scale. It's all fixed, right. So, could you do it one more time just to, just so I can see. So now that you've seen it, you're gonna see me do this correctly. Beautiful. That's how you do it right. Teach me how to sing a C major scale. <clears throat> nope. Uh, it'd be more... It's better for the viewers if you do it. Oh, oh my turn? Right, so why don't we not focus on uh, scales? Okay, well, what would you like to focus on then? Why don't we just, uh... Um, focus on... Uh, why don't we just do, like, some basic range... stuff. Range stuff? Yes. Well, what, what do you think this is? That's, um... It's complicated range stuff. That's a complicated range stuff? Yes, and I'm not entirely sure that the viewers at home will understand where us musical professionals are coming from. So we should do something that's easy for the mind of the viewer to understand. No, I'm pretty sure they know where you're coming from. Ah, I come from... Mm. This note right here. Uh, that one note. Sing that one note. Uh, uh. Sing that note again. Uh, No, not louder. I want you to get on pitch. I am on pitch, though. Now, I'm about to throw baseball. Uh, you're about to throw a baseball? I'm on pitch. Since you are so well-versed in this. Right. I think we should do some lows to highs. Like, just go from lowest to highest. Okay. Now we're going to do some uh, vocal range that you can understand for the, for the layman, if you will, those who cannot grasp at music like we can. Um, so first he'll go, he'll show off what he can do, and then I will come in and blow your mind.
so now I will I will show you how it's done. <clears throat> From lowest to highest. Here we go. Be ready to have your minds blown. So, on a scale of Johnny Cash to Michael Jackson, where do I belong? I'm not really sure. Um, Mind blown, right? But I think Michael Jackson called and he wants his girdle back. <laughs> oh. So, on a scale of Johnny Cash to Michael Jackson, where do you belong? Closer to Johnny. Right. And I can go anywhere because I am a musical genius. Anywhere? Well, anywhere? Yeah. Like, I can go deeper, I can probably go deeper than Cash and higher than Freddie Mercury. High, deeper? Deeper than Cash. Deeper than Cash. Higher than Mercury. Deeper than Cash. Yes. The lowest note recorded was recorded twice, and it's on the piano a C1. It's also been called a double low C. For those of you um, who don't understand music, that's probably low. Well. Yeah, yeah, that's that's low. That's low. That's what I thought. So, so you can understand. That's low. Um, would you like to hear this note? Yes. And then, yes. would you replicate it for me? Oh, please. Oh, of mess. course. Of course. While we do this thing. And so let's go like this. And then. No, 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 no. I, uh, I want to hear you hit this note. Right, right, right. You know, I'm giving you over an octave start. Right. That might be the problem, though. You need more? No, 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 no. I, I, see, like, you might be starting too high. You're, you're tricking my vocal cords into going high, and then they can't uh, perceive that far down deep. And then, um, huh. Well, I I think you'll do fine. Oh, I, I think you I think you'll be okay. Okay, okay. just just okay. I can't even find you where you are. It's because I'm so far down. It's No, it's because you're in between the cracks here. No, no, I'm way down. See, my vocals just go past the piano. Past the piano. They go deeper than that, and perhaps maybe it's... Um, okay, well, well, well okay, we, we've discovered... We, 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 we've, we've, we've discovered your... Um, Excellent vocal your, range. Your, your low register. Right. Okay. Let's let's go to the other end. And right. See about higher the, than Freddie. Okay. This is middle C right here. Yes. Oh, pitch piano. So you want me to do that? Okay. So so just yeah, tr just try a middle C. It's too easy though. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, there was uh, something in my throat. Yeah. Uh, what, can you can I hear you? Excuse you. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, my throat just doesn't, you know, it's... <clears throat> uh, 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 let me, one sec. <clears throat> uh... You remember that note again? Uh... I can't find you. It's because... Let's try this one. 
You actually almost hit that one. I hit it. Almost. Ah. A little low. Maybe. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. I can, I can go all the way. Let's go. Right, but we've already established that I go past it. No, but no, but I want you to. I want. I want. No, so to show, I want to show your incredible range because we're right. we're just going to go from here. No, yes, we're not going to use that one. To there. Okay. I mean, that's 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 beginner stuff, then, right? That's one, two, three, four, five, six octaves. Right. Okay. And if you are able to do this, yes, it will be incredible. Right. Do you need a smaller belt? <laughs> now that I have shown you my skills, we should put them all to the test. So there's a song that every gospel singer should know. It is one of the best loved hymns. Okay, so this shouldn't be a problem for you. Right, an old professional like me. It's Amazing Grace. Right. Okay. So I will sing it. I will sing the first verse and then I want you to Replicate repeat it. But better. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Enlighten me. <clears throat> I'm not entirely positive of the lyrics all the way through. Would you like the lyrics? Ah, uh, nah, I got this. I can, I can give you the lyrics. Okay, maybe let mom we do that. Remember, every gospel singer should know this. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just not sure if we we know the same version. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. They achieved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. So that was basically perfect. Yeah. In a manner of speaking, yes. I'm not exactly sure what it was perfect at. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it both uh, entertaining and educational in the ways of gospel music. Um, thank you so much to Fred Merrill for doing this video. I don't know why you agreed to it, but it probably changed your it really was very life-changing, um, and I've discovered a lot of things about you. Mm, math, you really have to step up your game. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. Yeah. You can find uh, more videos that I've made and me on youtube.com slash keep going productions. If you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at Elijah underscore Rice. If you wish to follow Fred, he is on Facebook at Fred Merrill Ministries. Mm -hmm. um, you can give that a like, posts inspirational quotes and Bible stuff. So if that's up your alley, it's there. Um, thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.
can't even pretend to that one. Do you need a smaller belt? <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs>